from TV Cause things are just so bad They call it Grum TV. Been inspired to uh, do a little grumpy video because um, there's something that bugs me, and I always forget that it bugs me until I see it. And a couple of days ago, well, Monday, Tuesday this week, spent um, a couple of days in the airport, and it reminded me there's people that fall into a category at airports and train stations, and um, there's three three main ones that stick in my mind, three characters, and uh, I saw all three. I saw all three types uh, at the airport. <sighs> Excuse me. I'll show you what I mean, and I bet you agree with me. Dominic! Dominic, you tosser! Yeah, yeah it's me, yeah, yeah. I've just had a uh, New York on the phone. Uh, they're talking about, you know, three. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm in the airport. Uh, I'm just, I'm just getting a flight um, across the, you know, to, to another country. Yeah, I've just had um, New York on the phone, and they're, they're interested. They're talking about maybe one, two million, I think it is, at last count. Yeah, 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 Manchester Airport. You know where they always try and uh, sell you the supercars in the main bit. They, they asked me. It was only one of them, um, them out. Audi R7s or whatever they call it. I've, got, I've already got two. I don't rate them. You know, I, th I think they're crap anyway. But yeah, um, basically I'm in an airport and uh, I'm, I'm taking a flight soon, uh, you know, to another country and uh, I've just been talking to New York and um, um, I am a tosser. I get him every time. You go, you go to Houston, you go down to London on the train or the, the airport and obviously everybody else who's on the train going to London or everyone else that's in the airport on your flight going to wherever you're going is already in the airport going or or in the train station going to the same place as you you don't have to impress them not that it's impressive anyway but it's just that sort of like yeah yeah I'm, I'm just going to London or I'm, I'm just going to America and it's just like shut the f I've never said that if someone rings me up I'll be like yeah I'm at work uh, or I'm, I'm away with work or whatever. It doesn't need. You, they don't need to know exactly the details. And the chances are, if the friends or family, or even work colleagues, they're going to know where you are or where you're going. So I don't see why people have got to shout where they're going and, and that they're cool because they're doing it. Because everyone else around them is doing exactly the same thing. Uh, but the the thing about the money and you know like oh big deals going off and blah blah. If you're that good and amazing, why aren't you in first class? You know, why you want to cheap knock you in a crap suit, barking down the phone, trying to impress everybody around you, and, you, and you're not, all you're doing is, is you're just making yourself like more of a dick than you already are, and you already are a massive dick with a small dick. I'm guessing you like music as well. Most people like music. It's part of everyday life. We all love our own different tastes and styles of music. But I'll tell you what you don't like and what I don't like. Other people's music. Especially when it's supposed to be injected straight into their ear and you're sat across from them and I know there's specific cabins on trains and on planes for the quiet area. But um, even on the, the normal area, how loud do they need it? I mean... Oh, I sat right across from me on the train the other day coming back from London. Yeah, because I'd been to London with work. Right, I was coming back from London. And this guy, and he had this personal stereo, well, iPod on. I had one on as well, which is what got me. I was listening to mine, but I had it, uh, because the speakers are, are inside your ear, because they're here, believe it or not, you can have the volume really low, and you can still hear it, and it's loud enough, and you can still sort of block out the rest of the cabin. But over my own iPhone, I could hear dickhead over the aisle there listening to Kelly Clarkson of all things. It was blasting out. Took my headphones out and I was like, what are you doing to your brain? And it's just like, 
you know, there's no need for it. I don't want to hear your music, especially don't want to hear it if it's Kelly Clarkson shit. I want to hear, I want to hear my own music in my own headphones and not yours over the top of it. Yeah, daddy's got to go away. Daddy's flying away to another country to do some work. But I'll be back later. Yeah, but I, I gave you lots of kisses and cuddles this morning while you were asleep. Didn't you know? Didn't you feel them? Oh, well, I won't be all day. I'll be back later on. Yeah, I know, I know. And I miss you too. And we'll play as soon as I get back. It's... You, oh, I know. I know. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I'll see you later on. G yeah, okay. Bye then. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. This third example it is it's pretty much exactly word for word what I heard um, the other day on Monday. Uh, it was a woman, not not a man, but um, pretty much was exactly what was said. Now I'm anyone who knows me knows I'm quite an emotional person. I am sort of you know I am like that, but there's just something really unnerving and really sort of like ugh, about that kind of. I just think that yeah, obviously from your children, um, they are going to miss you. You are miss. I don't have any children, so I mean, but just just move somewhere else and do that because it's just. It's really, it's like another one of those short things. It's like, I've got kids. And I'm, I know that if you have got them, you are proud of them and you have every right to be proud of them. But it's just like, go and do it somewhere else and just, you know, be as soppy and as, as loving as you like. But it just, it just unsettles me. And I just, I don't know, I just, she was really laying it on thick and, and saying the same thing over and over again. And I know it was only to a two-year-old kid. I know you're going to hate me for saying this, but I just think, you know, get a room, but not like that, you know. A normal room, it's a quiet room, you know, so you can talk to your kids. So if you use public transport, you know, what sort of characters annoy you? I mean, I don't, I, I don't do it much, so I mean, I suppose there's the chavs uh, and people like that, but I don't really see them, you know. Uh, but I know, say for example, Strid, you use a lot of buses and trains and stuff, so there must be, there must be something that really bugs you, so let me know. Uh, video response, Strid. Video response, Brian. Come back to me and let me know what bugs you about the general public when you have to deal with them in close quarters and you don't have any other options because you haven't got a private jet or a teleportation system.